Okay, everybody, today I'm going to be giving you a glimpse into the biggest thing coming to paid media online advertising with and through Google over the next couple of years. This is pulled from a presentation we did for the entire company with Google on a Friday that we call we an event Friday event we call Innovation Friday. So today I'm going to walk you through a few slides about something that is incredibly important for you to beat your competitors. And this is something that not a lot of people have set up. It's called value based bidding. And let's go ahead and dive into it. So not every customer brings the same value to your business, right? Think about that. Not every customer brings the same value to your business, right? One customer might buy five products, okay? Another customer might buy one product that doesn't even have great margins for you, okay? So some conversions do not matter as much to your business goals, while others are of higher value and should be reported and optimized accordingly. So when you're looking at three different customers, they all might have a different value. So value-based bidding brings values into smart bidding, maximizing your conversion value and ROI, okay? So smart bidding, this way to bid, basically based off of what's getting you the highest conversions, letting the algorithm do the work, but layering on value-based bidding on top of that. So not just smart bidding, but what type of conversions are actually going to have the highest value. So advertisers differentiate their customers' value, but they don't often share this information with Google for optimization. You understand that? With value-based bidding, the system will learn which potential customers are the most valuable to advertisers and bidding towards the most valuable customers will deliver incremental revenue uplift and profitability to advertisers. Does that make sense, everybody? So this helps drive value and significant return on in spend. A 14% expected medium uplift in conversion value at a similar return on ad spend when moving from target CPAs to target ROAS is something that you can expect, right? So instead of target cost per acquisition, target return on advertising spend would be a look at a shift more towards value-based bidding, but that's just the beginning, okay? That's just the beginning. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that evolution. So value-based bidding works across all business models and it's gonna give you a better picture of your customers. So no matter what model you're in, you're in publishing, you're in commerce, you're in lead generation, right? You're a local business, it works. And when you add the value of conversion, you not only get much more robust reporting on metrics that matter to you, but you're also giving Google Ads a clear view of how much each customer is valued by your business. Google Ads does not have this data. Google Ads does not know how much one conversion is worth to you than another conversion in many, many cases. And, and in the current landscape, Maybe a couple businesses have this set up on some level, but today I'm gonna to actually walk you through what that looks like in the future as well for the next iteration. So you can maximize for products that drive the most profit as set different values across, across TVs and PC accessories. You can set an average value of store visit conversion to let smart bidding maximize sales across all channels, online and in-store. You can improve the quality of your leads by differentiating how much an online quote is worth from a contract signed to drive growth through the lead to sale journey. For example, maybe for our own business, Ignite Visibility, we have one lead source that results in somebody coming in and signing up for social media, paid media, email marketing, conversion rate optimization, and website development. We might have another lead source that just leads to search engine optimization. That's a very, very big difference. Those are not two goals that are equal uh, to our business. So take a look at this and just kind of take a step back, okay? I want you to look at this slide for a minute, okay? CPC, clicks, cost optimized. CPA, 
conversions cost optimized, cost of sale, revenue cost optimized, ROAS, revenue value optimized, profit, ROI and total profit optimized, long-term profit, customer lifetime value optimized, CLV. What do I mean by this slide? And what, what does this slide mean? Well, it's the evolution, right? It's the evolution of advertising. And before, previously, and now for many people, they're looking at CPA cost of sales, ROAS, the next evolution, right? Bidding based off of ROAS. And then as a next stage, profit, what is the actual profit margin? of the conversion, right? Just not the maximized value, but the maximized profit, right? And then finally, customer lifetime value optimized, right? So after we get into this ROAS value-based bidding, bidding stage, it then gets into a profit margin stage and then eventually a CLV stage, okay? That's what we're looking at. So what does it mean to bid to value? I'm going to give you a couple examples. So bid to value acts on most common business objectives. So market share, grow the percent of share of market within industry or particular product or service. Volume, increase the number, um, the units sold, number of leads or capacity of the business. Revenue, grow the amount of money uh, the business brings in or profit, grow the amount of money the business has after subtracting costs. Think how exciting this is, everybody. Okay. When we're thinking about bidding to value, you're actually associating a specific value with the business. And now the granularity of digital marketing is about to significantly increase. Think about bidding to profit margin. Thinking about knowing your highest profit margin products and the ones you wanna sell the most of and the most inventory that you have and connecting the supply chain with your ads and then being able to feed that data back into the system so that they can bid efficiently. So here's an example of an online retailer. So consider these four stages of bidding sophistication and the features being leveraged in each stage, okay? Volume, objective, bidding to conversions, measurement, tracking conversion count using GTAG, bidding, bidding to maximize conversion purchase volume while achieving a CPA target. Now, what, what does purchase value ROAS look like? That's bidding to purchase value, measurement, dynamically track value for every transaction using e-commerce tracking. Bidding, bidding to maximize conversion value, purchase value, and achieve ROAS goal with your target ROAS. Now, what's margin ROAS, right? So this is the margin of your return on advertising spent to the business. So the objective here is bidding to margins. The measurement, you have to import conversions and margin values via offline conversions import, and you got to get that back into the system, right? And the bidding is to maximize conversion value margin and achieve a ROAS goal using target ROAS. Now, the advanced, the one, us at Ignite, we're pushing people as far up this ladder as we can, right? Customer lifetime value ROAS, the objective bidding to forecasted customer lifetime value, measurement, importing conversions and customer lifetime value via offline conversion import. So think about it. The, the big thing with these is you need to actually have this data to be able to feed back into the ad system. Good news is a lot of CRMs and different types of systems are are building this now, they're going to have to build it more in the future. Some of the hardest parts of all this is setting up the tracking. You need to have somebody who can do that for you, um, which we do here have here at Ignite, but it is, is something that takes some time. Each value represents the unique forecasted value of each customer, which are forecasted offline based on business signals and pass back to Google ads. And then bidding, you're bidding to maximize the conversion value, the LTV, and achieve ROAS goals. You're going for target ROAS. Okay, so value bidding can help you bid to true business objectives instead of marketing goals. And that's a big deal. You know, I've had clients come and say, hey, John, we need 3000 conversions a month. Well, you know, you've got seven different offers that are running, right, for those 3000 conversions. One of the offers that's getting the most conversions is something where you've got the lowest close rate. So do you really need 3000 conversions a month or do you actually just need a hundred of the ones that have the best CLV, right? Customer lifetime value. So um, these are the strategies by 
uh, customer maturity and digital sophistication. So optimize for conversion, drive, drive qualified leads, drive closed leads, right? So think about this from the lead gen perspective. I want to drive more leads that have actually closed. We get, you know, three, 400 people who fill out our lead gen form a month. Uh, if I'm optimizing towards all of those leads for my digital marketing, that is nowhere near as efficient as if I find out the actual person who closed for the highest value, and then I refine our marketing based off of that. Identify your customer value, lead. Okay, so $4,000 leads per month, $20 value per lead, okay? 4,000 4, leads per month, $20 value lead, 5% conversion rate. Marketing qualified lead, 200 MQ, MQLs per month, $400 value per MQL, 50% conversion rate. Sales qualified lead, 100 SQLs per month, $800 value P per SQL, 25% conversion rate. Close deal, 25 deals a month, $3,200 value per deal. So customer value will help you monitor the real impact of advertising on your, on your business and make the right decisions to develop growth strategies, ultimately allowing you to capture the customers that matter the most and generate the most value. Look at all these different scenarios, right? Think about this. It's a mindset shift, right? Right. I mean, lead, marketing qualified lead, sales qualified lead, closed deal. This is the stuff we deal with every day. You can get so many leads, 4,000 leads. That's great, right? What if you had 200 marketing qualified leads? I guess that would be better. What if you had 100 sales qualified leads? Well, that's good. But think about you know, the marketing team sifting through this, the sales team sift sifting through this. What if you just had 25 deals that were, had the highest propensity to close coming in through your digital advertising? Think how much you could refine your costs, your system. The entire business could run more efficiently as a result of this. All right, so this is our last slide today. You know, really what we're looking to do here is to set businesses up for success for, for long-term growth, right? And there's three core principles that really allow you to enable this. So share better data, share data, which is relevant to your business objective and ensure these are as accurate as possible. Align value data, so assigns value to your conversions that are both readily available and closest to your business objectives from transactional values to profits and optimize bids to business outcomes, right? At the end of the day, my main message for you today is get ahead of your competitors as fast as possible with value-based bidding. Look at your current tech stack and your systems that you have in place right now and think about how can I at least start with maybe some lead scoring, right? That's that's kind of step one. These leads are better than these leads. Okay, um, how can I uh, integrate actual value-based bidding as a next step, right? And feed this back into the ad system. And then you just want to continue that iterative process that we talked about today until eventually you're getting to the point where you're looking at ROAS, um, you're using smart bidding, you're looking at um, potentially margin-based bidding, that's a really exciting thing, and then eventually LTV. And as your business gets closer with your digital advertising, you're only going to see things improve overall for your operational efficiency. So this is certainly the future, and the sooner you can get ahead of it, the better. That's it for my presentation today for you on value-based bidding, some slides that came directly from Google, really exciting stuff.